Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 best cybersecurity practices to prevent yourself from cyber attacks. So we are not going to waste any time and jump right inside the video. At number 1, we have enabling the firewall protection. Now a firewall filters the traffic entering into your network. It acts as the first line of defense against the cyber attacks. So that is why enabling firewall is crucial to prevent yourself from cyber attacks. In addition to that, firewall prevents unauthorized users from accessing your mail, web and network resources. Now, the cool thing about firewall is that you can deploy firewalls at multiple points within your network. So that is how firewalls is necessary to prevent yourself from cyber attacks. At number 2, we have the implementation of endpoint protection. Firstly, the endpoint protection is securing the end user's devices. Typically, end user devices such as personal computers, mobile phones, routers, storage disks, etc., are major weak points for cyber attackers. Secondly, endpoint protection involves monitoring and securing user devices against cyber threats. Now, it combines both device level and network level defenses to restrict access to the company's IT systems. That is how implementing an endpoint protection can really save your business. At number 3, we have the installation of anti-malware and anti-virus softwares. Now, both anti-malware and anti-virus software help prevent cyber attacks. Anti-malware protection helps prevent malicious attackers from impending malware into your IT systems, whereas the anti-virus protection deals with viruses, trojans, and worm attacks. So, having both anti-malware and anti-virus software is a crucial step to safeguard your business. At number 4, we have the use of multi-factor authentication. Now, multi-factor authentication helps prevent unauthorized people from logging into your crucial business systems even if your credentials have been compromised. This is an additional layer in addition to your password that a user has to pass before gaining access to your account. Typically, with a multi-factor authentication, you get a notification on your mobile device on either your network which can be through a SMS or a code to your authentication application which can be Google Authenticator or any other authentication application on the market. At number 5, we have connecting to a secure Wi-Fi. Now, securing Wi-Fi is one of the cyber security's best practices to prevent from cyber attacks. Wi-Fi networks can easily be hacked, leading to the compromise of entire company's network. So that is why having a secured Wi-Fi is a crucial step to prevent yourself from cyber attacks. After that, at number 6, we have the vulnerability assessment. Now, vulnerability assessment involves the scanning of the entire IT environment for vulnerabilities that can lead to cyber attacks. Now, it helps review any security weaknesses and the susceptibility of an attack. Through a vulnerability assessment, you can detect weak points and implement remedies and mitigation to reduce the risk of attacks. Now, before moving on to the seventh best practice, make sure to check out the link in the description box for the Active Directory and the Office 365 auditing tool, which is known as Infra SOS. Now, Infra SOS helps users confirm their Active Directory and Office 365 users are compliant and secure from any potential cyber attacks. Again, the link to Infra SOS would be in the description box. After that, at number seven, we have the creation of stable cybersecurity policies. A cybersecurity policy is a set of documented rules and regulations and processes that an organization uses to elevate cyber attacks. The policies set standards for behavior for activities such as access of online accounts, encryption of data, use of organization resources, and so much more. Now, a few examples of cybersecurity policies can be access control policy, business continuity policy, disaster recovery plan, acceptable use policy, and so much more. At number eight, we have security training. Now, strengthening the human element is among the best cybersecurity practices to prevent yourself from cyber attacks. Now, training your staff against cyber attacks can highly reduce the risk of being a victim to cyber attacks such as phishing, email scams, and so much more. So that is why you really need to put emphasis on training your staff against these cyber attacks. Next up, we have backing up your data. Now, a data backup is a copy of data stored in a separate storage platform for use in case of a malicious act or IT disaster. In addition, a data backup is helpful in the event of data loss or compromise. Now, this means that the data backup can help you to prevent the business downtime in case of any hardware failure or cyber attack against your business. And lastly, we have the password policies. Now, password policies can help protect users against cyber attacks. You should always implement a strong password policy to prevent unauthorized data access. Now, for this, you can utilize a password manager. 
Now password manager can help you with the creation of the strong passwords and the management of strong passwords. Now there are multiple password manager utilities which even include scams. So be careful and choose only the authentic one. Now that also brings us to the end of the top 10 best cyber security practices to prevent yourself from cyber attacks. Now if you have learned anything new, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.